Hi everybody, I'm Andy Mathis and welcome to the short tutorial about how to put artwork into repeat pattern. If you're designing artwork for a stationary design or gift wrap or wallpaper or fabric design, you have to put it in a repeat so then when they print the paper or the fabric you won't have a seam between the artwork and it's also handy if you're doing digital scrapbooking or if you're just having fabric printed for your own use at a site like Spoonflower where you upload the file and then it puts in a repeat so you can order the fabric by the yard or ever have many yards you want but so that's where it's helpful to know how to put stuff in a repeat and even though a lot of gift wrap to look at it is sometimes sort of hard to figure out it's all done in layers and it's all sort of done the same way so here's a sort of a simple tutorial to sort of explain it um, I'm going to show you how to do it on Photoshop with the offset filter but I think it's if you've not thought about repeat patterns before I think it's easier to understand if you do it if you look at it on paper actual paper that's printed out and so you you understand the concept better and then we'll come back to Photoshop and I'll show you how to do it there. This is the file that we're going to start with. It's a 6 by 6, six inch sheet of paper and I printed out these heart design and we're going to use that to repeat across the bigger sheet of paper so you can see how it repeats. There's another file that we're going to use to fill in around some of this area as well but this is the main file. So on paper you've got this sheet of paper and for it to match up perfectly as it repeats across the fabric or the sheet of paper you want the middle of it the paper to become the corner so this middle area here becomes the sides so that when it repeats it all matches up so to do that you've got to sort of flip the left side and the right side and the top and the bottom so here's let's go to the next photo here that sheet of paper has now been cut in half across the middle so the original top is now the bottom and what was on the bottom is now the top so that's halfway and then the next one is where we've quartered it so now the what's on the right side is on the left side and left and the right so what we're going this middle area here is we're going to fill in with some of the artwork but for right now this way this corner matches up to this corner this corner matches up to this corner and this corner matches to this one so you, you sort of get the idea of what you're trying to do to match up the side so that when it repeats you won't have a seam so go to the next one here we've sort of pushed them back together and I think I've seen the I actually taped up the back yeah there's where I flipped over the paper and I taped the four parts together I used clear tape and then I ran out of clear tape so I ended up using blue tape so that's sort of how it goes back together and then there it is again and before computers I guess how they would do this is they would come back here in the middle and they would either add more artwork or add another pattern um, fill it in you just have to make sure that whatever you add with the artwork doesn't actually touch the actual edge um, because that messes up the repeat but as long as you if you add artwork all here in the middle then it's fine and it will repeat it and it'll scan and and it won't mess up the repeat so that's sort of the concept as far as what you're trying to do and I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop since that's how probably my, most people do it these days let's get rid of this so now I'm back in Photoshop and you see the two files that we're going to be working with here on the left is the hearts one file and that's the same file that was printed out on the sheet of paper and on the right hand side is hearts two which is some hearts on a transparent background and that's why we're going to use those hearts we're going to select those and use those to fill in some of the pattern when we get to that step where we fill in the middle so using Photoshop we're going to I'm using CS3 I'm on a MacBook and so some of the controls might be a little different if you're using a different version of Photoshop or if you're using a PC so let's go back to the hearts one file and I'm using the offset filter and so the file is six by six inches wide it's six by six inches at 72 pixels so it becomes 432 pixels wide and 432 pixels tall so to use the offset filter it's 
even under Photoshop, it's under Filter. You come up here, select Filter, go down to Other, and you'll see where it says Offset. And you put in half of the 432, which is 216, which I've already put in here. And if you, you can hit Preview, and that shows you what it looks like. And that's where it goes. It splits everything in half, and you've got that middle area that you're going to add artwork to. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're coming back to Hearts 2 file, and I'm going to use the Marquee tool over here to select a couple of these. I'm hitting uh, Command C on the Mac. I think it might be Control C for the copy on the PC. Control C. I'm going to get rid of it with Control D. Come back to Hearts 1. And I'm hitting Command V to paste in those hearts. And then I'm coming back to Hearts 2. Um, using that same marquee tool, I'm going to copy this one. Command C. I'm going to get rid of it with Command D. Come back to Hearts 1. I'm going to hit Paste. And I'm going to use the arrow tool to move it. I'm probably going to flip it. Yeah. And I'm going to put another one. So I'm going to paste another one and move it right here. Go back to Hearts 2. Use the Marquee tool again. Select this green one. Command C to copy it. Come back to Hearts 1. Command V. And then move it over here. Okay. Now we've got several layers there on top of Hearts 1 where we've added some the hearts to the middle there. So I'm going to flatten that the layers down, come up to layer, go all the way down to where it says flatten image, flatten the image, then I'm going to select the whole thing, going back to the marquee tool, hit command A, select it. Now to, to define the pattern that we're going to fill on the larger sheet of paper to do the repeat, I'm going up to edit here at the top, select that, come down to define pattern, click on that and we'll give it a name. We'll call this one Hearts Hearts 3. Okay, so I can delete deselect that. So so now that we're going to to see how it repeats across the larger sheet of paper or the fabric, I'm going to go up to file, click new make a new sheet of paper and since we're the squares were six inches by six inches I'm gonna make what 18 inches by 18 inches so you can see oops here's the larger sheet of paper so to fill that with a pattern so it repeats we're gonna come up here to edit hit fill we have to select the pattern that we want. That's the third one. Give it a second. And there you can see how it's filled up that sheet of paper using that pattern. And you don't have a seam between the little six inch squares. So that's how you do the repeat pattern.